students how are you all i hope you are doing well i subhi welcomes you all for the online classes of class 5th subject mathematics so it's on day 11 we are going to start our new topic which is roman numerals so let's take an example of golu golu likes to go school when he went to school he went to class first in that class he saw that at the top of the class it was written a letter i class i so he thought okay maybe it could be the way to write one then he saw class 2 he saw that there was a symbol two times i as of 2 so he thought okay it could be the way to write 2 then he thought okay fine it could be the same way for 3 4 and then 5 so when he entered to 3 class 3 he saw 3 times i was there then he thought okay in class 4 also it will be the same 4 times i will be there only so when he entered class 4 he saw that it was not the same there were different letters written on the top of the classroom it was written as i v and 5 was written as v then he was confused he went to his class teacher and asked that how about these symbols first of all why these symbols are written instead of simple numbers and why 4 was not written as 4 times i then his teacher explained him that the numbers which are written in numerals form 1 2 3 4 5 are known as hindu arabic numerals and the numbers which are written in with the help of alphabets i v x l c d m are known as roman numerals these are the way through which we can write our hindu arabic numerals so here we should first understand about its table so let's see our roman numerals and hindu arabic numerals one is written as i five is written as v 10 as x 50 as l 100 as c 500 as t 1000 as m so this is the table which you all need to learn and through these symbols and alphabets we are going to make our different different numbers let's move on to rules which are also required for writing different numbers in roman numerals form so here's our rules the first rule is rule of repetition repetition means to add if any symbol is repeated two times three times it means we are adding it like two times i means i plus i it means 1 plus 1 equals to 2 if three times i is there so 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it is 3 and maximum we can repeat any symbol three times the symbol v l d r never repeated so this was the rule of repetition now the rule of addition to see and understand the rule of addition we will first find the greater symbol like x and i which is the greater symbol x we found that x is the greater symbol as it denotes 10 and i denotes 1 so x is the greater symbol and then we will find the next symbol is in right side or left side of the greater symbol so we found that it's in the right side which is i so whenever the symbol is in right side we are going to add it so 10 plus 1 which means 11 let's see the next one v i i let's find the greater symbol out of these three v i i the greater one is v and the rest of the symbols are in right side it means we are here to add it 5 plus 2 which means 7 so whenever 
the symbol is in right side we are here to add it so next is our rule of subtraction here also we will find the greater symbol like i v the greater symbol is v let's find the other symbol is in left or right side it's in left side so whenever the symbol is in left side we are here to subtract it from the greater symbol like v 5 minus because it's in left side i means 1 5 minus 1 equals to 4 i x x is the greater symbol so 10 minus 1 equals to 9 c d what does c denotes c denotes to 100 and d denotes to 500 so d is the greater symbol and c is in left of it it means 500 minus 100 which is 400 so these were the three rules through the help of which we are here to write our roman numerals as well as our hindu arabic numerals after understanding our concept let's solve some of our questions question one write roman numerals 25 is written in hindu arabic numeral and we have to write it in terms of roman numeral before writing it first we will explain 25 20 plus 5 let's write 20 first of all 20 is written as 10 plus 10 with the help of our symbol 10 plus 10 means x x x plus x means x x and plus plus denotes it's in right side 5 means v so x x v this will be the answer of 25 now 47 let's write it its expanded form 40 plus 7 40 is written as x x x x is it correct i don't think so because as we have studied in our rules any symbol can be repeated maximum three times not four times so this was the wrong way to write 40 so we will take the help of 50 as it is 50 minus 10 so first we will write 50 l minus means left side left side 10 x so first we will write l then left side of it x so x l is the way how to write 40 plus plus means right side 7 7 is written as v i i 5 plus 2 so let's write 47 as 40 plus 7 40 is xl 7 is vii let's solve our next question write hindu arabic numerals xl vi while solving this question we will first find the greatest number of all x means 10 l means 50 V is 5, I is 1. So, out of these all symbols, L is the greatest one. So, let's see this L. L is the greatest one. First, we will always move towards our left side. Means, we will first subtract. It's 50 and it's 10. So, 50 minus 10 will be 40. So when we solved our XL, we got to know it's 40. Now after this, we will move to our right side. It is VI. VI means 5 plus 1. It is 6. So it will be finally our answer 40 plus 6. 46. First we will find the greatest number and then we will go to left side. Then we will go to right side. Let's come to our next question, which is x, 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 v, i, i. The greatest of all is these only x, 10, 10, 10, 5, 1, 1. So, these all 10 belongs to same. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. Then, let's move to right side. 5 plus 1 plus 1 is 7. So, 30 plus 7 is 37. I hope you have understood our concept of converting Roman numeral into Hindu Arabic numeral and vice versa. So, 
in the upcoming way a pdf is sent for the classwork and homework of the upcoming topic i hope you like the video so please like the video and press the bell icon to subscribe the video channel and to get more updates thank you